Salesforce has the ability to create uh, orders and quotes. So w the exercise here is to you know try and go through the process of creating uh, an order from a quote. Um, before you can even create a quote though in Salesforce, you have to create an opportunity. So we'll just go to opportunities and go new. Pick a close date, pick an account. That's so I think we gotta pick a stage too, yeah. So if you've not done this before, it's just not my favorite uh, kind of uh, situation because let me show you when we go to add products, yeah, it's okay, we gotta use the price book. Um, and what's nice about that, you know, they have these kind of quick check boxes so you can add products here. This is where I get, uh, I'm disappointed that they don't have um, the description of the lines kind of brought in from the product description, right? They just leave them blank. It's kind of wonky. So what you end up with is, um, you know, this, this opportunity that's missing basically the, the descriptions. All right, so from here, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, turn this, uh, you know, create a new quote out of this, and, and uh, this is the way to, to go about doing that. Why doesn't it just copy over the um, name? I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and do that. And we'll pick an expiry date for this as well. Okay, and now we get to pick a uh, person's name from the organization. Lightning does a lot of caching, so you're gonna see that the quote doesn't populate right away. We'll just give this a second to go away. There it goes. We'll do a quick refresh. Okay, here's our quote. So, you know, the quote, it has basic PDF functionality. So here's what you get when you, you you know, use the uh, PDF that's baked into it. Again, disappointing that the uh, product descriptions aren't there, but in general, you know, this thing's uh, functioning uh, as you might expect. And here's where I uh, get lost. Um, there's no, even though I have the order related list turned on, there's no order showing here. So the only thing I've been able to find it, it, as an, an, an ability to create an order from here is to just go and do it by typing in order. So out of the box, it, it, unless I'm missing something, um, Salesforce doesn't uh, allow you to just um, turn quotes into orders. Uh, in fact, if you wanna create an order, you have to create a contract number and then you can go here and uh, pick the account and whatnot. Um, and then of course the contact. And then you have to really start all over by um, picking all of the items uh, that are gonna go on there. So, and then uh, of course there's no uh, PDF uh, functionality baked into this. So the, the short of it is uh, Salesforce wants you to buy their CPQ product. So they put some of these elements in here and you'll even see uh, the invoice object, which they have. Um, is this theirs? No, uh, that's ours. Okay, so we go here. That's the first one. And um, so this is the native Salesforce invoice object. Uh, I, I can't figure out how to create an invoice. So my suspicion is that these things, the the opportunity, the quote, the, the order module, and the invoice module, these are all things that are to be used uh, if you sign up for the Salesforce uh, CPQ uh, package, which makes sense. Uh, this is, you know, Salesforce is in the business of upselling and moving uh, folks around their product line. So, um, yeah, that's the long and the short of it. Uh, kind of disappointing. You're not able to just go from uh, quote to order, but uh, at, at any rate, um, that's that will confirm your suspicions if you were wondering.